Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. To some of you in peace and greetings to the rest of you. Uh, this is my fourth time recording this. I tried to keep it under eight minutes and looked up, blinked, and it was 14. So, I, so let me start over. In the last clip, I said I'm going to answer two questions. And I'm going to answer them with the same answer. And sisters, this message is very important to you. And I'm going to tell you now before you click off. No, my message is not hateful. It is not mean. I don't hate you anyway. This is actually something designed to, uh, I wouldn't say empower you because you're already empowered, but something designed to point out to you how much power you have in these two cases. And these questions were not raised by me. They were first asked by other YouTubers, much, much more famous and with many more subscribers than me. They're in a completely different league. I just saw the titles. I didn't have a chance to look at the videos, but the answers jumped out at me in both cases, and they were the same answer. The first question. Let me get right to it. It was, can a man be pro-black and be with a woman of another origin? Or are those two mutually exclusive? Now, the second question was, do the competent men of the community um, deserve the most attractive women? And the answer to both of them, drum roll please, it's up to the women. Black women, you choose. Now, this raises another question. How do we make this choice? It's simple, but it's complicated. It is logically simple, but it is emotionally difficult for many women to do. You do not just say what it is, what your answer is going to be. You must say and show, and they must be consistent. You must say how important competence is over other things that might be real but difficult to define like swag and sex appeal and dick currency you must also show how important it is and how much more important competence is or you must say and you must show how less important competence is over these other traits whichever one you say you must also show and in order to say it you're going to have to show it as well by being obviously interested in whichever one you're interested in. Now, right now, the guys that get pursued, you see, there, there may be men and women like that are uh, competent and it's not about swag, but they're attracted to women because of competence. Maybe the competence is a type of swag. The thing is this. If you are attracted to the men because of swag and dick currency and not because of competence in, in any particular field. Oftentimes you may show that. So it's more obvious. If you show it, it's more obvious than yes, those guys are the ones who deserve you more. If competence is more important. Oftentimes those guys have not been shown by the women that prefer this, that it's more important. So then they're unaware. They don't know. But if it is more important to you, show it. Don't just say it, but also show it. The same way that other women have pursued guys simply because they already have enough other women, you may have to pursue these guys, even though you don't know of other women pursuing them, if you're genuinely interested. All I'm saying, ladies, is that you must say and show what it is that you're into. Because I can tell you now, an adult man, a mature man, it's not going to diss you because you show an interest, even if somebody else is his type or he's with someone else. He's not going to hate you for it. He's not even going to disrespect you. He's, I mean, he's not going to tell his God, man, I, she, I ain't into her. No, he's not going to do that. He may say uh, privately, she's not my type, but she went after what she wants. God bless her. That's what they would say, because this is the age of the independent woman. And so we would actually believe that such a woman is independent. However, all I'm saying, ladies, is that in the end, it's up to you. It's your choice. You make the decision, but you got to show whatever the decision is. You can't simply say it. Now, uh, regarding the first question, I will say this to be fair. Sisters, I understand if you're going to say, look, if you pro-black, why did you get with specifically Becky? You didn't even get a Hawaiian, a Samoan. You didn't get with a, a, a mestizo Latina. You went and got with Becky. What's that about? You got every right to question that. However, 
black men also have a right to question when you swirl with specifically a Caucasian man. And oftentimes when sisters swirl, it's not with another man of color, it's with a Caucasian man. So the, the validity of the question still remains, but it goes both ways. And I'm saying this because I spied on white folks and I know they're dangerous. When they don't mean to be dangerous, they can still be dangerous unintentionally. And the ones who mean well still can't protect you from the ones who are out to harm you. And they'll get killed if they really, really get in the way. Because that's what white supremacists are about. The ones that know they're white supremacists have it in their minds. They're going to kill some of their own who would protect you and me. So understand that the good white folks, you ain't doing nothing but putting them in danger anyway. Not that you mean to do it, but that's just how it cookie crumbles. I just wanted you to understand that. But if you talk about other origins, other non-white origins, you got the right to question well, what the community is that she comes from and, and what their relationship is to us. I get it. Getting with, let's say, getting with an Indonesian woman is not the same as getting with a South Korean woman. Why? Well, because the Indonesians don't have a history. They have no bad history with African people, period, of any nationality. Except Nigerians because of the culture, not because of the color. And I can honestly say, but you see, with South Koreans, the issue is you're black. And the elders are the main ones that are racist, but the young ones may not be. However, the young ones are beheld holding to the elders. So the community at best remains racist because its leadership is racist and it's only anti-black. It's not anti-white. That's the other thing. Their relationship with us is bad because the leaders keep it that way. But you go in Indonesia, there's no age group that hates black folks because they're black. It's not there. So you can, it is perfectly reasonable to factor in the relationship of her community to ours and your assessment, but it's up to you how much of an option any pro-black man has to stay within the race, let alone within the race and nationality combined. I hope this has been a benefit. Thank you for being patient. Looks like I kept it under eight minutes. Great. All right. Uh, take care, you all.